Well, I always love it. Last week I said it was March and the sun was shining. Mm -hmm. Today I say it's March and it's snowing and cold. It's never cold though at Shells and Sauce with Oscar Venegas. It's just one hot little bistro. And good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Gabby. How are you? I'm great. Uh, I don't get it. I do get it, exactly. But uh, shows and sauce, you're only open five days, but boy, are you busy. We love it, Gabby. Yes, I stopped during brunch a couple years ago during COVID, and now it's, I love it, especially at this time of year. Restaurant week here, it's pretty insane. Well, okay, okay. you started with restaurant week. Can we still have, to, well, tonight, tomorrow, Sunday. Can somebody get in? Uh, yes, for today. I do have openings today and maybe tomorrow also, like right at open. But tomorrow I have a party. I have a wedding upstairs, but my second floor is still open. I have availability after 8.30 today and tomorrow or before 4. Oh, perfect. And I believe you open at 3.30, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You're not doing happy hours. Speaking. No happy hour. No, too crazy. Yeah, and you do happy hour usually every day. Yes, ma'am. We do happy hour from Tuesday through Saturday. We do happy hour food from 3.30 to 5, and then we do drinks from 3.30 to 6. And don't try to get in, guys, because I can't get my seat. <laughs> so I, I don't want to, no, you can go anytime. Talk about some of the favorites. And shells and sauce. And those My out. favorites. Um, I like a lot of the classics. I like our veal piccata, our veal marsala are awesome, our chicken parms, huge plates. You know, all our plates are always huge. I've been here for 15 years, so I always rely on the specials as when I eat here because there's always awesome. Like today, chef's got a, a lamb shank on the menu for restaurant week. That's okay. sort of yeah, that's going to be a good one, Gabby. Come in for dinner. Call me. I'll bring it out to your car. <laughs> that's what I do when I'm home. And actually, I am sort of home tonight. But I have to say that Marcus's specials are like you. I've been coming there since the place opened. And it's just fun because there are specials that I always say, oh, I think tonight I'm going to have chicken parm. And then I see the special and I think, oh, maybe I'm not. <laughs> yep. No, we did Chopino the last two nights. Chef had Chopino on the menu. He's got a Mediterranean ravioli last night. He's had a pork chop earlier this week. So it's been awesome and fun and crazy and all the things I love. Right. about the restaurant business well, things you should know about shells and sauce is nothing is outrageously priced portions are huge and service i think the servers have all been there forever right. so everybody's very friendly and if you're there twice they know who you are and what you like and you know my friends come in and they said well they know me and i said not me. <laughs> not me yeah and I say, yeah, I bet they do. But uh, talk about, well, like some of the appetizers to start. Our appetizers are crab cakes. We have a truffle mac and cheese, which is awesome, which every table gets. We have some cheese curds that are great, too. People, we just started making those as a special, happy hour special, but people love them. So now they're permanently on the menu for now. Probably switch those things in a couple of weeks for spring menu. Um, I know Chef was talking about the spring menu, so we'll be going at this week. So I'll have more information on the spring menu for you guys next week. Oh, Probably darn. Spring. I need to know now. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. The spring is here, even if it it's... It is here. No, I'm, I'm ready for patio season, spring. We do another 15 tables outside for during patio season. So it's a pretty big plate. Right, and along with fabulous salads, which are huge, by the way, you always, the flatbreads are delicious. And you have that new pizza on the dinner menu. It is. It is a Roman-style pizza, so it is a, um, it's a thick crust, Sicilian-style crust, so, uh, focaccia, like focaccia bread-like crust. 
it's delicious. And I do have to say, as a person, I have been known to do carry out here. Well, because that's where I go for carry out or to eat in, but that's my problem. But when you get carry out, and I'm not talking about me, you get your entree, you get warm bread, you get the dipping sauce. I mean, when you pack a bag, it's not like I'm going to throw something in here and they're not going to oh, no. eat it. No, Gabby, I like it. I like the way I like my food. Like when I get something to go, I want to open the box and make sure it looks pretty because that's you're going to eat with your eyes first. Right. And the portion's huge. So first, if we're to fit in the box and for you, when you'd open it, just for it to look just like the way you played it at the restaurant. No, I agree. And it's not a place, there are places when you order out, you're never sure if you're going to get what you ordered. Correct. And here, you get what you ordered, and it's huge, and it's delicious. And I have leftovers that I don't have to take home because I'm home. I assume you do. I always pick up, but I assume there's delivery, too. Yes, ma'am. We do do delivery. We do delivery through DoorDash, or you can order online on our website and pick it up here. Right. And another thing I really love is your alcohol, wine, and drinks, because not only is it huge, you don't give a drink that's this big in a glass. No, not at all. Our portions are pretty big. Drinks are pretty heavy poured. But that's what we all love. We love us. We love a stiff drink and a nice glass of wine. Right. And of course you have traditional things like bolognese. Yes, man. Oh. Bolognese, chicken parm. We have a potato gnocchi that's still here in the winter menu. It might come off soon. Um Chef brings a lot of a, he'll bring a sea potato gnocchi as well. Oh. So most of our pastas, if Chef didn't make us here, we'll get them from Papa Deli, so locally owned here in Holly Street. So we'll go pick up there and see what's new and fresh and brings that in. And don't forget your small order of lasagna. Oh, a whole plate. Everybody takes something to go. And sausage and peppers is a, a really big hit. Sausage, peppers, and onions, yes. So, so good. all in all. So what's happening spring? Well, are you like... Easter, Mother's Day, or those holidays, will you be open? No, ma'am. No, we okay. so have been here forever. We now do it for morale. You know, everyone started families, so everyone gets to enjoy those with their families now. So we are keeping those Sundays closed. Good for you. I thought maybe, you know, because they're the busiest day in restaurants, you would be. No, I agree. Oh, I guess I have to find someplace else to eat. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> No, not really. Uh, but what are my you, house, Debbie. I would. I'd love it. I bet you're making great Mexican fare. Yes, ma'am. I'd love it. Someday. Because uh, I don't know where to go for that either. Anyway, what have we not talked about? It's fun. It's intimate. There's a parking lot that's always full. There's parking on the streets around. Yes, ma'am. Parking, there's there's always parking on the street, even though it's in the neighborhood. And then the parking lot in the back, it's full, but tables turn and right. another 25 pieces, but it does get <laughs> agreed. Right. Okay, well, let's give the details of Shells and Sauce. Like. All right. Shells and Sauce is located on the corner of 12 and Elizabeth, um, two blocks across from the Botanical Gardens and from East High School. We are open Tuesday through Saturday from 3.30 to 8.30, uh, Tuesday through Thursday. Fridays and Saturdays, we're open from 3.30 to 9 p.m. And I would recommend reservations. Definitely. I always recommend a reservation because we get all the neighborhood usually on the daily and it's... <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Come on in. And it is really a typical neighborhood bistro but when i'm sitting there people from all over the city are there but it is it's just a perfect uh phone number website shelvinsauce.net is our website our phone number is 303-377-2091 i do know you have to get to work but is there anything we're missing 
Confuse. Come check it out. First time, you'll come back for sure. Everyone does. I think you're absolutely right. And for all of you who are watching, uh, I am a real fan of Shells and Sauce from day one. I do live in the hood, but if you don't, it doesn't matter. I've met all sorts of new friends at Shells and Sauce. So just go on in and make a reservation. And please like and subscribe to The Gab, G-A-B-B, on YouTube or watch this on Instagram, Facebook. And if you see me there, all these people come up to me when I see them someplace. I saw you in Shells and Sauce, but I was afraid to say hello. I said, afraid? <laughs> I said, that's why I'm there. Please stop and say hi. Or send my love to Oscar. Tell him you know me and he'll tell you. In the meantime, happy rest of restaurant week. Thank you. Thank and you. I will see you next week. I already have a plan. Have All a right. great day. Much love. Bye. Thank you, Gabby. Bye-bye.